All right, this time we'll look at Nopix 7.6, and I believe this one's code name Adrian, and that's what we have to type in here. Now we're gonna look at uh, just the command line interface that they have, and this one is I was really interested in why they they want to use um, the command line, uh, you know, menu for legally blind folks I would say or visually impaired folks, so people that have uh, issues with seeing but don't have issues with hearing okay so let's do it here and to boot into this menu uh, from the live CD of Nopix was at 7.6.1 here you all, all you gotta do is type in I think how you spell it here Adrian I think that's how it is let's see here that's wrong what the hell uh, let's go back damn it I already spell that way. There you go. I think that's how you spell it. Adrian. There we go. That is how you spell it. So, let me use this here. Um, it'll boot up here. We'll say, we'll wait. What the fuck was that? Okay. Press enter for help. Arrow down for next menu. So, you can see that, um, they have like a hey, text to speech kind of thing where every time you go to a different uh, a different like a was a menu or something that it'll, they'll say whatever it is so let's say they would go to it'll say www or something w, w, w. email chat sms multimedia contacts so that's pretty cool that they they actually did that and it wouldn't make sense you know Anywho, uh, first thing you really want to do in here, besides like learning the, the keyboard hotkeys and stuff like that, is you want to go down to the setup. No context, share up setup. And go to hit enter. Slash volume. And the volume, um, should I turn it off? You know, I'll keep it on just for this one, right? But um, uh, in the internet. internet, you can go connection in here. Info. And Create new connection. Intel Corporation 82,540 Mbit of Ethernet Controller. Landwire Network LAN. So, pretty simple. You know, you go in here and you try to find your wired or wireless uh, network. So, I'm doing it in a virtual box here. So, we're going to do wired. Automatic address DHCP. Yes. Connect okay. now. Right. Save connection F0. That is it. We just save it. Connection info. And now we just Land connection F0. escape out of that. Audio slash volume. What else is there? You know what? Let me turn off the volume. But um. Turn off the volume there. And this one in the volume, they're not using also mixer. They're using uh, what is that? Rich. Witchy Max, I don't know how you say that, but uh, it's kind of like similar to also a mixer. Um, that's it for that. Anything else in here? So, uh, as far as printer, I don't have a printer on here. I don't have a scanner in here, but it's pretty cool. That they actually have what's in the printer? What did they use in here? Okay, printer they use cups, and I believe this one is the web UI. You can see at the bottom there it says it's connecting to uh, your local um, host here on port 631. And it's kind of useless in here because this is just like the man page. So you still would have to do a lot of reading um, to set it up. Okay, let's quit out of that. Shift Q. And what else is down here? We're a printer and the scanner. We don't have a scanner, but you can see that they do have scanner support. And how about devices? So they have SMS device, which I didn't set up. And what is this one here? This one's for a modem. So if you're using a modem, you can use in here a scanner device. Is that a real scanner device? Let's see here. No, we don't have that. Bluetooth, which I don't have either in here. Let's get out of that. Uh, yeah, in the mail here. Now they have support for. They're they're basically gonna use 
MUT, the email client, but they have a prefill out for you. They have Gmail, Hotmail. I'm not sure why they don't have Yahoo because I think that's one's like the second popular one after Gmail, or maybe it's even more popular than Gmail, but um, they don't have that. And if you want to set this up, it's pretty simple. Um, what the hell is the fucking bug in my room right now? All right, I think it's gone. Okay, one second. Anyways, go back to here. Um, Gmail, you hit enter. Type in your name. We'll just put my alias here. Uh, Gmail.com. And your password. Let me turn off my uh, screen key. So I can type in my password here. And there you go. Look at this. It's fetching all our emails. And you can read it from here. If you ever used MUT before, it's uh, pretty simple once you set it up. It's just that the hard part is actually setting the damn thing up. But this one takes care of it. I mean, this one. What the hell is this? Let's go back here. Trilax. Um, I mean, this one's like a very basic uh, setup, I'll say. But I mean, you can read your email, so there you go, right? Let's quit out of this here. Yes, let's turn back on my screen key program so you can see what keys I'm using, all right? But um, that's it for the email stuff. And what is this here? Adrian setup settings advanced. I do not know what's in here. Oh, you can change your text editor. So if you don't want to use Nano, you can use Vim and so on and so forth or Emacs if you are in that cult. <laughs> but let's get out of here. Um, control X, get out of that. What the hell? Go back to the setup. Where are we at? What else do they have in here? A screen reader? I am not sure what that is, though. Let's... Um, I don't know what that is. A screen reader. No, what is this? I don't want to do that. Store on flash disk. Um, do we have anything here? Uh, okay, so maybe for a USB or something. Let's get out of that. Cancel. Uh, if you wanted to install Notpix on your hard drive, you can do that from here, which um, we're not going to do. What else is in here? So those are the basic setups that you want to do. And after you have it set up, um, you don't have to go to that menu anymore. You can have your email here for number three. And this one will boot up straight into MUT. And like I said, you know, if you ever use MUT, that is a horrible program to um, do configurations for. But this thing has it, you know, pretty simple to set it up. And I'll say it's okay. I mean, it's not like all the settings that I would want. But it is okay, right? Um, so that's it for that. We'll quit out of that one. So that's for um, email. But what else do they have in here? They do have this part here, number two. It's www. And this one is for, uh, what was that? Uh, uh, you know, browsing, right? From uh, the command line. And this one is using eLinks, the web browser, which I don't have a lot of experience with. But I can see why they, they use this over some of the other um, web browsers. Personally, I, I use uh, W3M, but you know this one's for people that, um, I guess people that just want to focus on one task at a time. Because this one does not have any um, tab browsing, okay? So you, don't, you can't have multiple tabs, I don't believe. The only browser I know from the command line that does that is uh, W3M. So anyways, let's do this here. Let's go to google.com, all right? And, oh, if you have the, the volume on, which I already turned off, but uh, if you have the volume on and you go to each link, they'll actually say the link. So if it goes like play, it'll say YouTube, it'll say news, uh, it'll say Gmail, and so on and so forth. So every link that um, it, it stops at, it'll actually say the words um, 
for people you know that can't see very well and they will hear it so there you go but I turn off the volume so you can hear me talk instead uh, and then let's say we search for something I did try, let me see here I don't know if it works but I'm doing this from a uh, a live CD so maybe that's the issue but it didn't let me save let's say I search for some Dido songs oh you have to hit enter here and we'll go down to download some stuff some mp3s right yeah I'm not sure why why does it use gnome M player that makes no freaking sense here use M player you can use it from uh, the command line you can use it from uh, the frame buffer but it looks like it's trying to load up gnome M player makes no freaking sense to me if you're doing it from the command line I could be wrong because I don't know what it is but that's the warning message that I get it says uh, gnome M player we don't need we don't need that right we just use M player why don't you use that anyways I'm um, not sure why they did that but if you were trying to play some music after you download some stuff um, it don't work <laughs> so let's get out from that but anyways, that's the the web browser they use, uh, eLinks. It's kind of like the um, the nano of web browsers, if that makes any sense. It's very basic and very simple. Um, so that's it for that. Now they do have chat in here, and this one is for what is this one says? YSM ICQ. I don't really know anyone that uses ICQ anymore, but hey, there you go. Personally, for me, if they're going to do a chat or something like that, I would recommend they use like Finch or Center I am. Uh, the newer version of Center I am, actually, uh, I think it's still an alpha, but Center I am like 5.0 or something like that. I think it's still an alpha or beta or something like that. But even that is better than uh, what is this ICQ thing? I don't know, man. Uh, but that one you can actually do like a uh, different um, chat you know clients like uh, you can use like Facebook with it you can use um, AIM MSN if I think that one's dead I'm not sure <laughs> you can use um, I think the, the whatever Gmail uses and so on and so forth but um, with this one I think it's only for ICQ or something how the hell you get out of here come on get out of here all right, it's all wrong, but whatever. And SMS, uh, I didn't have it set up, but it looks pretty cool that if it does work, I mean, it's pretty simple. You type in your message, so, hi. And then, you know, after you're done, you hit uh, Control O, Enter, Control X. And from here, um, what is this here? enter number or hit enter to select from address book okay let's hit enter we don't have an address book so you know we can't really send anything but let's say we did send what did it do it will send something it didn't do anything actually let's go back to the address book I have it down here the contacts I guess so contacts this is where you would uh, entering all the information so what is this one here enter a a uh, abbreviation for a new contact so we'll say GBU or something and no name entered yet let's say put a name here uh, mobile phone number home phone number so on and so forth I'll we'll do that but actually uh, after you have your address book you see that we have a new entry and so on and so forth let's go back here what else we got in here so that's for the contacts and after you set that up I guess you can use the SMS I am not sure what backend program they use for SMS uh, to send it maybe they just use like a regular the email that you already set up I'm not sure but um, you can do SMS if you have your contact set up and everything what else they have in here they have multimedia and this one is to play audio on uh, video with CD. I don't have a CD player in here, do I? No, I don't. So that don't work. 
All right, man, we get it. It's, it's wrong. I don't have nothing. Uh, play multimedia files. Hit enter. I mean, and you can browse this. Um, browse story. Browse and play me. Okay, let's do that. Do you have anything in here? It says nine gigs, so let's try that one out. Can we mount? Yes, okay. And in here, we have any media files or no? Let's go to our home folder. Do you have anything? Music? There we go, we have some music. Let's see if we can play it. Error. Uh, yeah, maybe because I'm doing this in virtual box, but that's why it don't work. But you can actually browse from there. Very simple uh, browsing. Um, well, file manager they have. It's just simple like that. It's not like Ranger, but uh, they do have that there. Anyways, let's go back here. Play multimedia. Notebook. So I'm gonna assume this one uses uh, Nano also, right? But you want to create a new note. Let's give it a name. We'll call this one um, testing mapics. All right there, you go. That's our file name, and we'll give this one uh, first day. That's it. Now we hit uh, Control O, Enter, Control X, and that's how you would save it. And here's our file. You can actually, if you want to edit, you can go edit again. If you want to print or delete it, you can do that. But we'll save it and just hit uh, escape here. Now, whenever you want to access the note, you just go down to one here, and that's how you access it. Pretty simple. Um, they have a calculator. This one is very basic here. So you can do like a five plus five. All right. And then you have your results at the bottom here. So it's 10. Uh, how about five? What's five times three? How about that? That is 20, right? So on and so forth. And if you want to do like order of operations kind of style, you can do divided by two. And there you go. You have 10, right? That's it for the calculator. Not really that hard. And what is here? A text scanner. What does this one do? Uh, place text sheet on scanner and hit enter So is that like an OCR kind of thing? I'm not sure. I don't have a scanner on this and They have file manager and This one I think we mounted this one earlier or something or it just says browse home directory. Let's do that And oh no, this one is mounting from the CD. We don't want to do that. Let's do it from our hard drive our virtual hard drive here and we'll browse the files that's high there. And we have our home folder in here. And let's go into my username. And we have some music. Not sure if they'll let me play it here. Um, no, this one is actually just for file management, not for playing anything. So this one, if you want to delete it, you can do that. Pretty simple. But we don't want to do any of that right now. Anyways, that's the file manager. Very basic. You know, I don't think anyone will be confused by that. So, next thing here, we have a shell. What are we doing here? So, we can do a shell here. Uh, let's type in here. I am not big, so okay. That is it. You can do some stuff in here. After you're done with that, you can hit exit, right? There you go. You can hit exit and go back to your menu here. Now they do have graphical programs and they only have like a few in here, but um, when you open this one here, this one is uh, Office. So let's do this here. So it does allow you to use um, GUI programs. Um, what the hell? They have Compiz. <coughs> okay. So this one takes a while to load 
on my system here but there you go you can open LibreOffice and then you can do your GUI word processing from here because sometimes you need a you know a GUI word processor to do stuff but anyways that's LibreOffice and once you're done uh, I believe it should take you back to the menu I'll loop it back to there we'll wait here Oh yeah, so it does go back, so right. So that's for the graphical stuff. Uh, you can actually use those two, like the web browser, Firefox here, or or uh, was that LibreOffice? And then even you can start like the whole full desktop here if you want. And what's this here? LXDE. So by default, it uses LXDE, I guess. Let's go back here. Uh, they have YouTube in here. And I'm not sure why they have errors in here, but um, basically they're using MPS YouTube, and I'm getting all these Python errors. But anyways, um, what can we do in here? Help! Can I spell it right? Help! There you go. These are all the commands that you can do. So you can actually download stuff in here too using uh, this program. And let's say I search for. Can I search for my name in here? I am on YouTube. All right, that thing didn't work. But let's do. How about just Tmux? How about that? There we go. Well, not really. Anyways, the program is kind of broken, but you can actually use YouTube. I'm not sure if it'll open, uh, you know, M player or any other player from the command line that you can watch it using like the frame buffer. Because the other one that we tried out, uh, it was trying to load up GNOME M player. That makes no sense if you're using it from the command line. So hopefully, um, if it actually did work, it will open it in like M player or MPV or something like that from the frame buffer. Okay. And that's how we will watch it. But, anyways, that is a look at Adrian from Nopix here. Pretty cool menu system and you know it has all that voice action for um for people that wants to hear all the menus and stuff like that and then there you go uh check it out they do have a a full like graphical um desktop also and i believe it was using kitty something i forgot but um if you want to use that you don't have to type in adrian when you boot up you just, you just hit enter and it'll boot up to the graphical stuff but uh, I was really interested in this uh, command line menu system, and I think I might steal some ideas from here um, for you know for my uh, setup. But uh, if you're blind or legally blind or uh, or any of that, and you want to try this out, um, let me know if it actually helps you. I, I'm really interested in that because I don't know why. Like uh, most times, if uh, you know you have a vision problem or something like that, right? Um, usually the answer is not using a command line type of system uh, I, I see other people using like the GUI and they make it like uh, bigger icons or something like that but I really never seen any menu designed for uh, you know a command line menu designed for you know blind folks anywho uh, check it out it's an easy download uh, I think it's like four gigs or something like that for the, your live CD. That's it for this one.